It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the science of gratitude studies and research. Appreciating what we have measurably improves our relationships, our life satisfaction, our health, our sleep, and it improves our physical health, leading to fewer aches and pains, lower blood pressure, and less depression. Grateful people are more likely to take care of their health, exercise more often, and schedule regular checkups. Gratitude reduces toxic emotions like envy, resentment, frustration, anger, and aggression, and enhances positive emotions like empathy, caring, and sympathy. Too much of our time is spent pursuing things we currently don't have. Gratitude reverses that and realigns our priorities to appreciate what we currently have. Happiness is rarely constant. So although happiness is a fantastic goal, Gratitude for the things and the tools that get you there are more important. How easily we can lose sight of everything we have to be thankful for when the circumstances of life become unpleasant. Think coronavirus, for example. We are our own worst critics and we hold ourselves to impossible standards and we continually, continually compare ourselves to others. Science says that the more you choose positive and kind words to describe yourself, your health, your body, and your progress, the less anxiety you will experience. A recent survey and study concluded that people that wrote in a gratitude journal participated in significantly less gossip and other toxic behaviors in the workplace. People who feel good about themselves and their lives are kinder to others as well. That's some interesting science of gratitude from based on research and studies. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit.